A fewer people are crossing the border illegally, but this doesn't mean that it stopped. Channel 5's Angela Vargas learned about our dams and how they could be vulnerable. Angela. This week, a photographer and I were driving through the Anzal Duas Park. We noticed families crossing the Rio Grande, making their way past the Anzal Duas Dam, up the levee, and into the park. When it's hot out, fishing on the Rio Grande is quiet and relaxing. Yeah, just enjoying time. It's Jesus Garcia's day off. This is his first time back to the Anzo Duas Park since he was 12 years old. We used to come with my dad a lot. And there used to be a lot more people, but now it's just empty ever since all that stuff started happening. And Garcia knows the dangers across the river. His mother lives in Reynosa, near the Anzo Duas Dam. It's just scary. I mean, she calls me like every once in a while. There's gunshots. He fears the unknown from the people who cross through the river's current. It's just crazy. Like people just risk all that just coming across over here, and we don't even know if they're like dangerous or they're regular people. The Anzal Duas Park's entrance is its exit. Earlier this week, we watched nine people, mothers and their daughters, enter the park. Donde viven? Exhausted and tired from their journey, they waited for local authorities and Border Patrol to arrive. Minutes later, our cameras caught four young boys enter the Rio Grande on the Mexican side. They carried what looks like some kind of styrofoam raft. They handed another young boy paddles and pushed him over to the United States. We're still out there. Law enforcement is still out there. Uh, they're walking up to us now. They're no longer being chased. Hidalgo County Precinct 3 constables are the first line of defense. Precinct 3 Constable Larry Gallardo says people crossing on the pavement near the Anza Duas Dam is normal. Nothing's changed. I think, I think it's, uh, it's slowed down for a while, but there is still an effort to come across. Gallardo says their main concern is that drugs and criminals stay out of the park. He advised us the International Boundary Water Commission oversees dams and levees. IBWC spokesperson Lori Kuzmanski explains the security protocols. She sent us this statement. We call the local authorities and they do the apprehensions. We don't detain due to security reasons. As general policy, we don't disclose our security measures for safety reasons. Kuzmanski says just the dam and office are fenced in. Garcia says he's noticed an increase of law enforcement on this year's fishing trip. He hopes only to catch fish in the river and let the authorities worry about immigration. Constable Gallardo says they caught many people acting as if they were visiting the park. He says they will also continue to monitor the area and work with federal authorities to keep the park safe. Live in the Channel 5 News studio, Angelo Vargas, Channel 5 News at 6.